Retro. Welcome again, everybody, to another one of Ray's Retro Reviews. Today we're playing Mega Man 2. I'm using the Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the GameCube for this version, so... You happen to see the rapid fire. It's just a slip of the finger. Now, the key to Mega Man 2 is going through and not dying. <laughs> I know that's a madness, but... The main goal is to go through and beat all the robot masters to get to Dr. Wily and stop his evil empire. Now we're gonna roll through Airman's stage here. It's best to wait until those spikes are down to jump, but you know. Now you'll notice here the clouds kind of block the view. And if you hit the guys, you fall straight down. Oh, that one's only a single horn one. <laughs> I think that's a glitch. Now, you'll want to get on the cloud platform here. This was probably one of the best games of the 8-bit generation. It inspired many gamers to get into gaming, like our friend Ron here. Ron, this is your cue to say hi. Hello, uh, this is Ron from New Gen Gamers. Um, watching Ray play this, this brings back a lot of memories for me. This is definitely one of the most challenging and uh, one of the most engrossing games of this time. Um, you really had to use a lot of strategy and plan out what you were going to do next. And as opposed to the glut of uh, platform games that were on the console at the time, this was one that really um, tried some different things and really made you play through it over and over and over again. I don't think you could play through a Mega Man level one time and not die. Um, you, you know, you just had to learn where the enemies were, what you needed to do, and um, try and get through it. And uh, this game was probably the first huge hit for Capcom. They had some things before that like 1942 and Gunsmoke, but this was the one that really put them on the console map and uh, really made people take notice and of course Mega Man's still around to these days no one's forgotten them and uh, anyone who's ever played a Mega Man game knows what Mega Man is and um, this was probably the best of the 8-bit ones uh, Mega Man 1 was pretty good Mega Man 3 was pretty good 4, 5, and 6 started to make you go eh, maybe they played this to death but Mega Man 2 had great level design, great enemies, as you're going to see here, doc, uh, uh, Airman. Um, and the key to winning these games was having the right weapon to beat your opponent. And let's see if uh, Ray can remember which opponent beats Airman. Because uh, offhand, I can't. We're looking at Woodman's weapon here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that is devastating. And so if you knew the right weapon to beat your opponent, you could take them out in several hits. Three hits, that's it. He's done. So, you've seen Ray dominate the Air Man stage here after several deaths. He got his uh, bearings, got his mojo back, got his Mega Man on, and... Happy arcading, everybody. Enjoy Mega Man. Who's your